below. In this video, we will show how to make the integ integration of our uh, Sheetlink plugin and Morta.io. Okay, so let's go to Morta. Here I have my dashboard. Okay, and I have three projects. Uh, make sure that you have access, you have created your register not here. And then go, let's go to Revit. Here on Revit, we will open the package Jiroots1, open sheet link, and make sure that you have the latest version of sheet link. And then we go to schedule tab. Okay, here on schedule tab, we have the same schedules from our project uh, to export. We can export to Excel, to Google Drive, and then to uh, Morta.io. Okay. So let's select a uh, uh, schedule. We can select one schedule or multiple schedule to export. Now I will select just one, for example. And here we have the options to filter by instance, type, or region only parameters. And then we go to export. Okay. As you can see, we have it here uh, an option to select keep formatting of schedules. What means that if I select this, I will export exactly uh, the what I have here. For example, if I open my schedule, I have this format. So if I select that option, I will select, I will export uh, as you can see here. Okay. If I unselect this option, so I will export the data uh, as a template from G roots. I will show you. So let's go to Morta. And then uh, now we have to make the integration with Morta API key. Okay. Uh, how you can do this? Open again Morta Home. Let's to click here and click to integrations uh, and click to new API key. Here we click to generate a new API key. As you can see, we have a new key created. We click to copy. Let's go to Revit again. And then we can paste here and click to connect on Morta. Now, as you can see, we have the three projects and we can select some of you want, some of you then to export my, my schedule. I will open my project now. For example, let's go to the root Revit data, data. And then I will open this project resource, the roots exported tables. Here I have some tables exported. So let's go to Revit again. And when I select here, I will see the same tables that I have on Marta. On Marta. Here I need to enter a name. I can change this name. For example, I will enter just furniture. And here I will export the resource that I want. Selected exported tables. And then I will click to upload to Marta. Okay, already done. And let's go to Morta. I will make a refresh here. Open this resource. And as you can see, now I have my table here. Furniture. This is my template from the roots. Uh, so I have it uh, in data here, in data here. Uh, and now I will show you how to make the option to keep the format. For example, I will keep this schedule. I will click to export. And now I will select the option to keep format. Click again to make the export. Select again the same project. I will uh, insert uh, number two and select the same resource and make upload to Mart. Okay, already done. When we, I go 
to Marta. I will make refresh again. And now we have two tables. The furniture, the same, the, the first one uh, as a template. And then the furniture too, uh, keeping the format from Revit. Okay. So here you have the options to make filters, to colorize, to make it. Uh, to sort, to make groups of data, and many other things. But the the interesting is uh, this integration that you can export your data to to Marta and manage in in Marta application. Okay. Uh, if you want to make a uh, logout of your uh, integration, we can. For example, I will open here and. I need to click here in sign out. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this integration. See you in the next video.